Hi, I'm Dyser's mom. My name's Tina. Um, I'm gonna show you if you choose to use the hair piece. Um, I'm gonna show you how to use that and put that in. So first you're gonna need one of these buns that you can purchase at Walmart, Sally's, I think maybe even the dollar store sells them. Try to get the one that matches your child's hair. I think they come in brown, blonde, and maybe a black one. And then this is the hair piece. Um, I think Sheridan put it on band, the one that you need to buy. Try to match it as close to your child's hair as possible. I know this one's a little darker. We used this a while ago. Okay, we're gonna start by taking the donut, as I call it, stretching it out, and after the hair's up, the top's made, you're gonna go ahead and pull the ponytail through the donut. Then you're gonna take the hair that's already in the ponytail, spread it out to fill the donut. You're gonna take a hair tie, make sure it's nice and, and flat, really smooth it out. You're gonna take that hair tie and just loop it over the top of the donut, like this. Super smooth. Then you're gonna take the rest of the hair that's sticking out and wrap around the bottom of the base. This is gonna be your base to hold that hair piece in tight. Then you're gonna take a bobby pin and go in and secure that like this. You're gonna take, open it up, go in, turn and push. Just a couple of those just to secure that hair. Once you've got that kind of made, then you wanna go back in and kind of pull that little bump out, back out. This hair piece has a tie, and then it also has the clips on the inside. So you wanna make sure those are open. These clips, and this is gonna be at the back. So when you pull, you're gonna pull that tight and secure that around that donut. So you're gonna take these, and I always take and guide by the clips. Go in and get, and then clip that down on each side until you hear it pop. It's not gonna feel the greatest, but go in on the other side, find the clip, and secure that down as well on each side. And then you're gonna have her tilt her head over. Find the drawstring in the back, which is right here. Utilize that to pull that as tight as possible. Pull that down. Wrap like a, just like a ponytail holder. Wrap back around. Pull all that back out. Make sure you get all the hair back out. Pull tight again and wrap back around. <laughs> she loves me right now, can you tell? Pull all that hair out. I don't get that out. And then we're gonna go back with the bow and put the braid in lovely assistant. Take the bow the same way, go around the hair piece. Make sure that bow is standing up right there. Pull all the hair through. Depending on how big the ponytail is and how thick the hair is, you might be able to wrap it twice. I'm not gonna get it around it twice. So I'm gonna go back in and pin that in. And then once you have that in, in place, you just wanna go ahead and kind of 
smooth that out around the bow. It's dark, way darker than the So make sure that's all pulled down. And that is your ponytail with your hair piece. Okay, um, I know everybody's really worried about having the hair pieces and what if they fall out firsthand. I know what that's like, not good. So what I've learned that really, really works is we could do zip ties and you're gonna take the zip tie, put around the bow to secure, come all the way around the bun and everything and zip tie that straight in the back. And if you do prefer to go with the hair piece, I would help love to help zip tie in if you guys wanna do it that way too. So then the bow does not move nor does the hair piece.